Okay, so from this question, you know that this is the original value. And so to find a percentage decrease, it will be 82,500 minus 77,500 over the original which re which was 82,500 times 100 because you're trying to find a percentage and you plug these values in your calculator and you will get a value of You'll get a value of 6.060606, which you round to three significant figures. So your answer is 6.06%. For the next question, they're asking for compound interest. So the formula for compound interest is A equals to P bracket 1 plus R power n. So we know that 2.2 2 is the rate of interest, so that's r, and 12,000 is the initial value which is p, and they're asking for the nearest dollar, so we'll have to round it later at the end. And we know that n, which is the number of years, is 6. And then we just put in all the values into the formula, which is 12,000, 1 plus... 2.2% plus, oh sorry, power 6, which is 12,000, 1 plus 0 0.022. power n, power 6, and you just put that in your calculator, and you will get a value of 1.0. Okay, so you'll get a value of one three six seven three point seven one dot 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 okay mm, cause they're asking for nearest dollar you don't want it to be in decimal so you just round it up so it'd be one three six seven four which is thirteen thousand six hundred and seventy four and that's your final answer